Nobody wants to capsize and as a captain you may consider these questions. Why do boats mostly keep their keels down? What is the stability of a ship? Uh, what is decisive for uh, the stability properties of a vessel? And how can we as captains be sure that our stability is good enough? We'll have an attempt at a, a st uh, definition and we can say that the sh a ship stability is the ability of a ship to float in an upright position and if it is inclined under action of an external force to return to this upright position after the external force or the uh, uh, healing torque has ceased acting upon the vessel. So uh, we'll keep that behind our ears and move on. We start with the term the common center of gravity abbreviated G and everything that has mass has a center of gravity and we call the uh, common center of gravity or we abbreviate it G. Now G is the point in an object around which all the weight of the object is equally distributed. If we, uh, as in the figure here, lift the vessel up by its center of gravity, uh, we will see that it hangs in an equilibrium, no matter which way is up. So we see the vessel hangs like that, then we uh, use our finger to twist it a few degrees, we let go, and we'll see that it still hangs in an equilibrium. If we rotate it a bit the other way and let go, it will still stay in an equilibrium, uh, no matter which way is up. So that's the definition of G. Um, let's drop the boat down, not keep it hanging up like that. The distance from the keel, K, up to the center of gravity G, the vertical distance is called KG, that's the Norwegian abbreviation, or VCG, vertical center of gravity, the English abbreviation. We use both of them. And a basic grasp of, how, of the concept of G and how we um, can influence the center of gravity of our vessel is essential in all stability for vessels.